warm welcome to everybody and the students in today's video as you can see we are going to discuss about gt task 1 vocabulary and we are going to do detailed discussion about vocab and i will try my level best to give you all important points tips so that you people could score good in your gt and uh, before writing Uh, anything you need to assess the type and situation and you people broadly know that letters are of three types formal semi formal informal and in every situation i will try to give you a specific vocabulary for these situations and then if we talk about different types then uh, condition situations of letters are you know very well about these and i will try to cover each and everything and once again क्योंकि वोकेबलरी की कोई लिमिट नहीं है देर इज़ नो लिमिट ऑफ वोकेबलरी सो मीन्स इट इज़ एंडलेस वट वी कैन डू इज़ वी कैन ऑलवेज ट्राई टू मेक आवर राइटिंग्स बेटर ओके सो दैट एग्जामिनर शुड नॉट फील दैट आवर राइटिंग इज़ हैविंग एवरेज फ्लेवर और ताकि वो हमको एवरेज बैंड्स ना दे उसको पढ़ के लगे कि जो राइटिंग्स हैं वो बहुत जेनुनली लिखी हुई हैं एंड बिफोर टेलिंग यू अबाउट वोकेबलरी वन मोर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज डू नॉट क्रैम वोकेबलरी इफ यू विल क्रैम एंड यू विल डिलिबरेटली फोर्सफुली ट्राई टू फिक्स दैट वोकेबलरी इन योर राइटिंग्स एग्जामिनर्स विल कम टू नो दैट यू आर फोर्सफुल इन डूइंग इट एंड ऑटोमेटिकली दे अगेन विल नॉट गिव यू गुड मैं सो द की इज तो जो मेन थिंग इज कि यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस आप प्रैक्टिस करो आप रीडिंग करो आप डिस्कस करो अपनी मिस्टेक्स एंड दैट वे ग्रेजुअली यू विल यू नो बाई डिफॉल्ट बी हैविंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड दे विल बी सो मैनी इम्प्रूवमेंट्स इन योर इंग्लिश राइट ओके सो नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग लेट्स ऑल्सो गो थ्रू सेल्यूटेशन सेल्यूटेशन आपको पता ही है ओके सो फॉर्मली जैसे कि हमने किसी प्रिंसिपल को या किसी एडिटर ऑफ न्यूज़ पेपर और मैनेजर ऑफ बैंक और मैनेजर ऑफ एनी होटल लिखी है इन दैट केस वी डोंट नो द नेम ऑफ द पर्सन ओके सो इन दैट केस वी कैन सिंपली से डियर सर डियर मैडम दैट वे ओके रिस्पेक्टेड सर रिस्पेक्टेड मैडम दैट कैन गो ओके इन सेमी फॉर्मल कंडीशन वी नो द नेम ऑफ दैट पर्सन ओके सो इन दैट केस नेम कैन बी यूज ओके लाइक मिस्टर फिलिप नाउ इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू राइट मिस्टर फिलिप इफ यू विल नॉट राइट दिस मिस्टर दैन दैट विल बिकम इन फॉर्मल ओके सिमिलरली मिसिस फिलिप्स ओके डियर मिसिस फिलिप्स डियर टीचर और इफ यू आर राइटिंग टू योर टीचर यू नो द नेम बाय द वे इट्स नॉट गुड टू यूज नेम ऑफ योर टीचर यू नीड टू गिव रिस्पेक्ट ओके सो सिमिलरली डियर लैंड लॉर्ड डियर टेन एंड डियर चैनल पार्टनर ओके एंड देन इन केस ऑफ इनफॉर्मल कंडीशन यू नो बेटर डियर पीटर माई डियर फ्रेंड ओके बिकॉज यू आर वेरी क्लोज टू दिस पर्सन हाई पीटर हेलो पीटर यू कैन यूज दिस थिंग्स दैन फर्दर Uh, ending salutations, you know again, okay. So yours faithfully, sincerely regards, best wishes, fond regards. Now this is used semi-formally because semi-formal, formal, formal uh, salutations are put together. Best regards. Otherwise, yours, ever yours, with love, your best friend, cheers affectionately are your informal salutations. Uh, as I have said forward, we need to put. vocabulary carefully according to the type and situation and first of all the category which i am going to cover is how to begin when apologizing okay when apologizing when feeling sorry okay you can go through these things right okay so only difference is we do not use heavy vocabulary when we are uh, talking about semi formal or for informal conditions and uh, uh, we also use contractions means we also use uh, short forms when we are talking about informal conditions so you guys can have snapshot of it and you can better understand that way uh, we beg your pardon we is used because you are writing on behalf of your organization otherwise i beg your pardon you can use okay i regret that i am unable to we regret that we are unable to process something like that so that way you can apologize or you can feel sorry if uh, you are unable to do anything right further 
when asking for help or when asking for information again formal and informal connectors have been put together okay so i would be grateful if you could right okay so i would appreciate if you could okay that way means you can again go through okay so otherwise now in this case as you are informal जैसे कि मैं बार बार स्टूडेंट्स को कहता हूँ कि आप अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ इनफॉर्मल रहोगे पर आप अपने क्लास टीचर या आप अपने कॉलेज जो प्रोफेसर और टीचर और सीनियर टीचर वट्स एवर आप उनके साथ फॉर्मल रहोगे राइट सो जहाँ फॉर्मेलिटीज करनी है वहाँ फॉर्मल वो कैब चलता है फॉर्मल सेंटेंसेस चलते हैं और फ्रेंड्स के साथ आप इनफॉर्मल हैं कभी आपका फ्रेंड आपके घर पे आया आपने चाहे पूछ ही नहीं पूछी चल जाएगा बट इन केस ऑफ फॉर्मल कंडीशंस आपको फॉर्मेलिटी करनी पड़ेगी राइट सपोज अ टीचर यू हैव विजिटेड योर टीचर और टीचर इज विजिटिंग यू सो इन दैट केस ऑब्वियसली यू विल नीड टू बी फॉर्मल यू विल विश हिम ओके यू विल ऑफर हिम टी और कॉफी वट्स एवर ओके सो दैट इज बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन फॉर्मल एंड इनफॉर्मल ओके ना अगेन दैट स्लाइड इज अंडरस्टूड टू यू हार्डली देर इज एनीथिंग वी नीड टू डिस्कस मूविंग फर्दर एक्सप्रेसिंग सिंपथी सो कंडोलेंस नाउ दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्लाइड आपने माफ़ी मांगनी है या लेट से किसी का कोई नुकसान हो गया तो उसमें मुझे बहुत शौक है आई एम वेरी सॉरी फॉर योर लॉस राइट जैसे कि हम लिखते हैं आई एम सॉरी टू हेयर दैट ओके आई एम राइटिंग टू एक्सप्रेस माई कंसर्न आई रिग्रेट टू इन्फॉर्म यू दैट ओके तो ये अब सारी बातें यहाँ पर इनफॉर्मली आ जाएंगी इट ब्रेक्स माई हार्ट टू हेयर दैट वी वर अनलकी वी हैड हार्ड लक दैट टाइम आप सैड न्यूज़ वगैरह भी दे रहे हो तो ये वहाँ पर भी यूज़ की जा सकती हैं एंड देन फर्दर दीज आर सेंटेंसेज विच वी यूज़ फॉर विश मे डिपार्टेड सोल रेस्ट इन पीस मे गोड गिव पीस टू द डिपार्टेड सोल मे गॉड ब्लेस यू एन ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ टू ओवरकम दिस स्ट्रेटेजी नाउ दैट इज अगेन वेरी important sentence because of sad demise of any near and dear of your friend now you are writing this sentence in letter to console him or her okay so demise tragic death or it can be any financial loss or it can be failure or rejection or means that, that condolence can be for any other situation okay so moving further now asking for information so you can go through these things uh here formal thing is i would be obliged if you inform me about now that is very good sentence i would be grateful if you could send me this information and could you please send me details about so straight away you can talk about these things and uh, informally mind telling me about i need information about so nice of you let me know as soon as do you have any means you can use these words so again you can have snapshot of this slide moving further now making suggestions okay so would it be good idea perhaps uh, it would be good idea to shayad acha hoga ki hum aisa kare we can use that way may i suggest that means if you are suggesting to any senior of yours may i suggest could you please i believe that you can use these is writing formally or semi formally otherwise what about now in formal conditions you will be straight forward ओके okay, तो आप सीधा अपने फ्रेंड से बात करोगे कि इसके बारे में क्या सोचा आपने तो अगर ऐसा करें कि हाउ अबाउट दिस एंड व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट दिस व्हाई डोंट वी ट्राई दैट थिंग एंड लेट्स ट्राई दिस थिंग आई फील समथिंग शुड बी डन अबाउट पर वी कुड बेटर शायद हम कुछ बढ़िया कर सकते थे ओके पर वी कुड बैटर फाइन मूविंग फर्दर नाउ एक्सप्रेसिंग सेटिस्फैक्शन हैप्पीनेस गुड न्यूज़ okay i am delighted i was delighted i was very happy i was thrilled i was glad okay i am pleased right so and then further we can also say i'm glad to hear that the dash was very very enjoyable so these are formal and semi formal otherwise uh, there are so many sentences here my happiness knows no limit i feel myself on cloud nine very important sentence it gives me immense pleasure to tell you that i have been selected that way I'm extremely delighted. I can't resist myself to inform you that means un ab roki ni rukri khushi or we are expressing I can't resist myself. So I thought you would like to know thanks again then this is congratulations okay so you can go through these sentences then is your expressing thanks and gratitude. Now thanks for your hospitality means you were kindly greeted and hosted by somebody then you can write this sentence 
okay so kind of you so nice of you i'm grateful so i am extremely grateful i very much appreciate you we can use these phrases okay i'm running short of words to thank you it's so nice of you so hum ye informal baatein kar sakte hain okay then giving reasons the uh, we use these connectors while writing our tasks too so again these can be used here it is because of it is due to it is as a result of it is the consequence of outcome of okay so further is now very important slide if you are writing a letter complaining or expressing dissatisfaction or it is very very important okay i must complain i'm unhappy about i'm writing to express my dissatisfaction i am writing to express my annoyance about very important so something was very very disappointing now let's say lunch was very disappointing the service was very disappointing so despite my requesting now very important sentence mistake happened from your side the service is not up to the mark so i will be forced to take harsh steps unless now again very important sentence you are repeatedly saying them and they are not taking favorable action so main majboor ho jaunga harsh steps lene ke liye jab tak ki ye nahi hota unless so i would be constrained to take action or legal action if okay means uh, somebody is not refunding your fee or somebody is not again doing a favorable action then this sentence can be used formally if it is not suitable if it is not favorable response then i will you can add this sentence i will take harsh action against you okay so i want to know what you are doing about this so means you have done complain and now you are rewriting them to check the status of your uh, previous action so then you can write this sentence okay and otherwise yahan par aap i find very irritating i'm very happy about utterly disappointing it made me go wild means main apna aap akho baitha i was completely annoyed shocked means you can use that way so i would like to complain about so this thing doesn't suit me you can say is not what i was expecting so further is now giving wishes or expressing goodwill now please give my regards to your family okay we don't do this thing formally but we can do semi formally or informally please convey my greetings and best wishes to your parents please pass on my regards or my best wishes for your family you can say that way then bon voyage means uh, shubh yatra and then may you get well soon hope your health is getting along fine उम्मीद करता हूँ कि आपकी सेहत बढ़िया हो रही है एंड देन मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट मे यूर बिजनेस प्रोग्रेस विद लीप्स एंड बाउंड मीन्स उम्मीद करता हूँ कि आपका बिजनेस दिन दोगुनी रात चौगनी तरक्की कर रहा है राइट नाउ एंडिंग ऑफ द लेटर हेर आर समेंसेज विच यू कैन यूज सो इफ यू रिक्वायर एनी फर्दर इन्फॉर्मेशन प्लीज डू नॉट हैजिटेट टू कॉन्टैक्ट मी मीन्स वेन गिविंग इन्फॉर्मेशन थैंक यू इन एडवांस फॉर योर हेल्प वेन थैंकिंग ओके समबडी हैज हेल्प यू आई लुक फॉरवर्ड टू हेयरिंग फ्रॉम यू सून मीन्स वेन एक्सपेक्टिंग रिप्लाई थैंक्स फॉर योर असिस्टेंस वेन समबडी हैज हेल्प यू थैंक यू फॉर योर इंटरेस्ट एंड इंक्वायरी मीन्स समबडी हैज इंक्वायर्ड एंड यू आर राइटिंग फॉर्मली ओके सो इनक्लोज इज द इन्फॉर्मेशन यू रिक्वेस्टेड somebody demanded information for you from you okay somebody demanded information from you that's why you are writing this then further you can learn more about this at from means your company website or any particular social media link from which information can be obtained so if you require assistance please contact dash 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 you can give number and name if i can be of more help please feel free to contact me at then you are giving name so if we can be of assistance please do not now you can't use contraction please do not hesitate to ask me okay please do not hesitate to ask you can use that way or otherwise informally look looking forward to hearing from you if you need to know about anything else just get in touch with me as soon as you can and thanks a lot for your help and i hope to hear from you soon so these are endings of your letters okay then here are some more uh, opening sentences like if you are giving introduction of your product i am writing this letter to tell you about 
our new product which is coming next week you can make sentence this way and this product service is designed for you especially for you okay then if you are writing any letter in reference to particular thing i am writing this letter in regard i am writing this letter in reference to okay please refer to the enclosed invoice brochure means if you are sending any invoice or any brochure then you can use this sentence okay then i hope you have had a chance to look over the material we sent now means you earlier sent material to your customer and then you are writing this letter to get feedback or get follow up okay then you can use this sentence moving further is confirmation okay i'm writing to confirm that we have received something i would like to confirm that we discussed last friday now what you think about this then further one more situation i would like to confirm the main points we discussed then further you can give further discussions further details and then this is notification i'm writing to let you know means again a formal sentence writing to let you know that this has been done please be aware inform that this has been done i would like to inform you of a re recent policy change and i am happy to inform that we have taken we have done such amendments we have done such changes to this policy and then further your request for funding has been approved now somebody applied for fund his request has been approved then this sentence can be used and again offering assistance we would be happy to help you and uh, i have given you so many such sentences before in the same video now according to our records our records show that this is happening your monthly installment is due and then please send payment as soon as possible so these sentences can also be used i hope all these things are clearly understood to you and again please do not cram these things and try to go through these things as many times as possible to understand these things logically okay so that is end of this video thanks for watching and this is praveen khanna signing off we will meet okay that's all